I'm delighted to be able to congratulate you on two centuries of the most remarkable ministry and mission. It's always worth taking time to look back on the journey that, through which God has led you, on the faithfulness of God to you over these last 200 years, and how you've been encouraged by all that God has done with you and through you, so that you set your faces again to all that God calls you to in the future. I remember with enormous gratitude the ministry of ICS when I, myself, with family, lived in Paris. God's hand has clearly been on ICS from its beginnings in Newfoundland 200 years ago, and in God's goodness and providence, the work has spread through Europe, North Africa, parts of the Middle East, and of course, Latin America. So I am grateful to our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and to all those he has called to serve faithfully at ICS. Yet this isn't just about looking back, it's about looking forward. It's looking forward for the signs of the work of proclaiming and witnessing, because the good news of Jesus has never been as important or pressing as it is now, especially in Europe. And what God calls us to isn't just a repetition of what has been, of course. You know that as well as I do. But as every ordination service charges every minister the proclamation of the gospel afresh in every generation and every context. I'm always struck in the story of Moses about what he does when the people of God don't have any water. In the first instance, the people come to Moses and complain they're dying of thirst. Moses calls out to God and God instructs him to hit the rock with his staff and water gushes out. When further down the track, the people come to, again to Moses complaining they have no water. Moses doesn't consult God. It's almost as if he assumes he knows what to do. If what worked last time will work this time. So he strikes the rock. The water gushes out, but God is angry. Moses has second-guessed God. It's our call not just to repeat old ways, but to discern new ones. To be alert not just to the needs of the people, but to the leading and provision of our Saviour and Lord, of the Holy Spirit. This is your vocation. Discern with all the imagination, creativity, courage and wisdom that the Spirit gives the faithful and effective proclamation of the gospel. I pray that God, the Spirit, will strengthen you, inspire you and grant you great encouragement in this task.